We've been working to get you more details on this story since we first brought it to you as breaking news at 6 o'clock. It happened on 8 Mile near the Southfield Freeway. Let's get out live to Victor Williams. Victor, what have you learned about the victim? Well, Will and Pam, we're hearing that this was a very well-known man who was honestly just minding his own business when the unthinkable happened. If you live over here or you've been in the city of Detroit and roll past Southfield in 8 Mile, You've seen this man plenty of times. Asia Davis and Char Jackson are two people asking the question, who would want to shoot a panhandling double amputee with no legs? We see uh, the, the older man every day, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I give him some water. For, you know, that senseless act of violence that happened towards him was it was senseless. It was definitely senseless. You know, we, we, we hate that that had to happen to him, you know, especially so close to home. The wheelchair bound victim would constantly ask drivers for money near Eight Mile and Circle Drive. But for some reason today, a man wearing a ski mask walked up and instead of offering spare change, offered a bullet. They found a shell casing. It's really messed up that the city of Detroit is just always going through something. Afterwards, the suspect is believed to have walked across the street towards a mobile gas station. Thankfully, the victim was only grazed in the back of the head by one of those shots. Unfortunately, all the commotion took place only feet away from a birthday party for Char's son. Police then spent hours going door to door. Not many people opened their doors, of course, you know what I'm saying, because no one knows what's going on. Even though we were outside, we did not see anything that happened, but seeing the ambulance come down the street, you know, and then the police were taking pictures of the houses. So we did get a little nervous. Living so close to eight mile, it makes Char a little more careful about where she'll let her kids play. All we can do is, you know what I'm saying, stay safe. We got too many children out here. Now I know to keep them in the back. <laughs> And thankfully, this man is expected to be OK. Police, however, are still looking for the man who pulled the trigger. We know that they're trying their best to look through any surveillance video in the area, hopefully at that gas station where this man is believed to have walked to. But as of right now, it stands that they have no idea who this person is. So if you by any chance know police, they would like to hear from you. Live downtown Victor Williams, Local 4.